iridescent snowflake nails hi everyone it's laura this is such a cute little um snowflake set that i made um i got these holographic like metallic colors in and i just wanted to try them but i was shocked when i opened the package i was like what on earth is this like it doesn't look like what it looks like in the package like that does not look like it's going to be like that raspberry pink, right? The gold kind of looks like the gold for sure. Um, gold metallic, but like this silver. Yeah, I guess the silver does too. It's really, and then this uh, hot, hot pink one, hot pink metallic nails. Now this one looks like rainbows. It was the, the next three that really threw me because they all just look like white. And look at this one. This one looks green. And then this one is like that deep, deep purple. Oh my gosh. It was so interesting. And then this one. Oh, I dropped this one. I literally <laughs> dropped it all the way underneath my desk. I had to go and get it. <laughs> but look, this one's like deep blue purple. Oh my gosh. But it looks yellow. On the inside it's so strange but so yeah um, I decided that I was going to do another set of Ellie's nails which I'm so clumsy I even dropped the thumbnail but these nails will fit pretty much anyone and it's why I do it for Ellie's size um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to polish the nails with gel polish this is the Beatles um, nail polish or gel polish that um, needs to be cured for a, a one minute cure in between coats but so I end up putting um, two coats of this on what did I put it on three nails and then I put two coats of the other color on um, the two other nails but Ellie's nails are like the perfect size for everybody it's like the common size um, that way um, if you find these I because I do sell these on uh, Facebook Market Street um, just in the set of five though I don't do like a whole 20 set of um, press on nails I just do these five that are showcased in this video um, and I put it on um, Facebook marketplace but um, they're to the size that fits Ellie perfectly which is my practice hand but it's also um, this is the the lighter blue it's like a super light baby blue but it's also the same sizes basically that I wear um, and um, that way, if you have like smaller nails, you can always file them down. If you have very, very large nail beds, then um, these would be great accent nails for um, maybe the um, the nails, like the thumbnail might fit the middle nail on you and the middle nail might fit your index finger. And so you just use them as accents. But this is what it turned out. I did three dark blue and then two light blue. And I was so interested um, how this metallic powder was going to change the color of these two different blues. So, and it's so fun to play with these powders. Have you tried these yet? These metallics are so fun. Um, I do believe these metallics are also from Beatles. And um, I do have a um, discount code if you would like to go and check out the Beatlesgel.com um, and use my discount code, Laura35. Um, yeah, I. I think it's worth a try because this is like magic. Look at this. It looks like gray powder. It's so strange. And you just, it, you get these little, um, these little cushion applicators um, in with the package. So you get plenty of those to play with all of your different colors. And um, you can definitely dedicate one applicator to each color, but you just, pat it. Um, I haven't taken off of the tacky layer. So I just did cured my gel polish, did two coats of the gel polish. And then with the tacky layer on, I'm just rubbing this dust onto the nail. And look at this. 
Is that amazing? Oh my gosh. It's like a rainbow of metallic iridescent. It is gorgeous and it doesn't look like that gray powder at all. It's it's like magic. So now I'm going to do the lighter one and look, the lighter one turned out that same kind of iridescent rainbow. It's just a little lighter. It's like more on the silver side, I guess, but it totally catches the light in like a rainbow form. So cute. Okay, so now I'm going to just play basically. Um, I'm going to take, um, I think this is the ring finger and um, this is a size three. The pinky is a size nine. Um, the ring and the index is a size three. And then the middle um, is a size two. And these are universal sizes. So if you know your sizes, then you know these will fit you. But um, And then the thumb is a one. So um, yeah, I'm just basically playing. Um, this one, I'm actually going to make a French French tip in the iridescent in that metallic which ends up being so super cute and um, yeah super easy to do especially with that applicator um, even a beginner could do this so if you just want to try it then I say go for it it's so fun to play with these and you know when you're playing with nail art you can't really go wrong like it's art. So even things that like might be an oops, like a mistake, turns out, you know, I mean, you can make it work because it's art on your nails. So I say play, 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 play. And um, don't worry about making mistakes because you can always just, you know, say you meant to do that because <laughs> it's art, right? Well, okay, so you know I love, love I'm like addicted to polka dots. So I, of course, decided to make a polka dot nail um, with these little iridescents. And what's amazing is that when you see the end result in this polka dot nail, um, you know, because you're watching it, it be created, you know that the base is blue, but towards the end, you will notice that this looks like I polished the blue on around the metallic it's so interesting just wait till the end you'll see what I'm talking about because we had a cu couple of different colors to it and it really ends up popping that blue out but yeah I'm loving 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 all these metallics so that's what it looks like with the um, iridescent metallic just um, you know put on in many different ways now I'm going to use liner I'm going to use a white liner and a silver liner um, I'm going to accent and I'm also going to start doing some of the snowflakes. So I have so been into snowflakes lately. Oh my gosh. It's, um, December, 2022, if you're watching in the future and, um, I am a Texas girl. Um, we don't get a lot of snowflakes here in Texas. Um, and we actually, let's see, it is. December, I think it's December 3rd today. Um, it's the weekend. And so um, we actually walked down to the park today. Um, we saw the Christmas parade. Our little town puts on a Christmas parade. And um, we watched the, I'm going to add the snowflakes now. Um, just, you know, this is going to take a little while too. Um, it's so intricate. And I'm just using a long um, nail art brush to pull that color around, um, you know, just, just to make the snowflake. I do this in a lot of my videos right now because, you know, winter is all about snowflakes to me, even though we don't get a lot of snow in Texas. But yeah, so we went to the park and um, they did the, the um, annual Christmas tree lighting in our park. We have one of those, we're in one of those small towns where everybody, you know, like, gathers at the park and the mayor um like introduces the the new christmas tree that you know that's being lit up and um his daughter actually lights it up for us and it's just a lot of fun we had i i would say there were about i don't know maybe a thousand people there if that um but before the lighting of the tree um 
you know, you get to walk around the park and there's all sort. there's like an ice skating rink, there's hot cocoa for sale. It's just all very charming as far as Christmas goes and very traditional. Um, and it was chilly to, tonight out there. Um, we walked to the park because we're less than like half a mile from the park. So it makes for an easy like evening walk. Um, it was in the 40s, so it wasn't like super freezing, but it was cold enough for me to be like chilly, chilly. And um, yeah, but was not cold enough to snow. That's for sure. <laughs> And I was just happy that I was feeling good enough to actually go out and do that. I was worried about it because I've had such a crazy cold. Um, you can still kind of kind of hear it. But yeah, okay, so I cure it at this point because I don't want all of those lines to like start to level in together. Um, and at this point, I'm taking the silver sparkle liner and I'm just kind of um, defining the line of, of the chrome that I had put over it. Oh, is that what it is? It's chrome. Yeah, I think it's chrome, chrome or metallic. Oh, I'm not sure now. I'm not sure what it was called, but yeah, I bought it online. I buy almost all of my, um, beetles, um, on Amazon because they have right now, they just have amazing, um, packages and I'm, you know, getting like the packages where you get like, you know, eight different chromes all in one. But when I start to use up these things, then I will, didn't that just define it perfectly? Um, then I will go on to the beetlesgel.com and I will find the, the, um, items that I apps or the products that I absolutely love and I'm running out of and I'll need to replace them one by one. So I won't be buying packages. So yeah, that's, or like big packs with lots of different colors. I'll just be going on the website. And at that point, I'll be using my own code, of course, <laughs> the Laura 35. Yeah. Um, and that helps me a little bit um, as far as um, I get a teensy bit of a commission off of the sale. So if you do love any of these products and you have any uh, your eye on any of them, then do go to um, you know, the beetlesgel.com and um, get these for yourself and use my code and um, save 35%. It's kind of a great deal. I wonder if I would, you know, say I should probably go and do that. <laughs> I should go on the website and use that code myself, right? I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will eventually. But um, yeah, so now we're just putting the little... Um, V's, the little stems on the snowflake, and each little teeny snowflake takes its own time. So tell me, um, do you get snow at wherever you are at during the Christmas season? And um, if you do, then do you love it? Or maybe you don't and you do like me and you just put it on your nails? Yeah. Okay, so now um, tell me down below. I love to, to hear your comments and let me know um, if you get lots of snow. <laughs> I'm almost envious, but at the same time, snow kind of scares me a little bit because, you know, it's so slippery. I definitely hate to drive when it snows and it has snowed a few times in the 17 years that I've lived in Texas, but um, I try to stay like off the road when it's snowing. So yeah, but yeah, so, um, oh my gosh, I just had to pause because I was having a coughing attack. <laughs> I am telling you, this cold has gotten to me. I don't get sick very often, but boy, this one has hit me pretty hard. Uh, anyways, didn't want to cough in your ear, but we are still making these little snowflakes and I'm making one on the, um, bottom half and then I'm making another one on the top half and I pretty much do the oh there was a fuzzy right there <laughs> I pretty much do them the same um in you know I like keep the continuity as far as um the style of the snowflake throughout this nail set 
Um, and I'm just loving the way the white is popping up against this blue. It's such a beautiful blue. Um, yeah, Beatles uh, lists their nail colors in numbers. And so this blue is 618. It's A618. And then I'm going to put the little white dots all the way around kind of just to cap the snowflake and I just think it gives it a little something extra and then um, I decided that it also needed um, some snow as well so I added some snowflakes um, or some snow dots around the snowflakes and um, yeah I'm pretty sure is this one done at this point Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yes. Okay, so now we're on to the pinky nail. So that first one was the ring finger, and now we're on to the pinky nail. And what we're going to do is we're going to go um, straight down the nail with one very large snowflake. Yeah, so... I absolutely love, love, love this chrome. And even the white, even though it doesn't like, um, like jump out at you, it still is um, basically showing like the snowflake pattern. And it's so pretty. It's almost subtle, I guess, um, up against the lighter metallic. But oh my gosh, I just love, love, love it. So have you played with metallics? Is this something that you like to do? Um, do you have any metallic colors? Um, or do you just like watching um, me do these nails? Because I, I love doing them. So I just love that you're here watching them. Um, if you could comment down below and just say, um, I love watching them or um, I just like to see what colors you come up with next or something like that. That would be very cool. If you have any suggestions um, as to what you want to see next, then please suggest. Um, my next one is actually going to be military colors because that was um, a dear friend asked me if I could do military colors or um, I actually tried to find some like military um uh, stamps or whatever, but so I didn't find any military stamps. So I was actually playing with other stamps like snowflake stamps and stuff. And, um, I've got to tell you, I am not good at the stamping at all. I was going to make my next video all about stamping and the more I played with it, oh my gosh, I just, the less I wanted to attack. do it. I hope I cut out <laughs> so. that last little coughing <coughs> attack. Um, if not, I apologize. <laughs> I know it's rude. Um, but yeah, so I had to cut it off, cough my heart out, and then, you know, turn the recorder back on. <laughs> the beauty of um, editing videos, right? So once again, I'm adding the little dots. Didn't this snowflake just turn out so cute um, on this metallic? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think... Um, I think it was the military or the stamping. Yeah, um, I think the more I stamp, the better I'll get at it. But I'm going to practice a whole bunch before I actually do um, nails, you know, that I want to show you guys because, you know, I want I want you to see um, quality in my videos and yeah, just me practicing stamping. Uh, you should see it. Actually, it's such a mess. <laughs> right now just because I'm really new at it but yeah I prefer to make these snowflakes by hand because you know they just they come out a little more unique I guess um they're done by hand so you know you know that it's taken extra effort to get these um on the beautiful nails that you're wearing if you decide to pick them up um on a Facebook marketplace you know I mean you know that there's a lot of effort that goes into it. So I used that white to just define the French and didn't that do such a fantastic job of dividing the two colors. And I am loving this light, light blue. Um, I don't know if you know, but I'm not a blue person. Like I don't wear blue. I don't think I have a single thing in my closet that is blue. 
Theo G sitting here with us, by the way. So that's, that was him shaking his ears um, <clears throat> to say hello, I'm sure. But yeah, um, so when I see blue on these nails, I'm like always amazed at how gorgeous it is. It makes me want to wear them myself, you know? Um, and so I guess I could always remake them and start wearing them. Mm -hmm. I do have a Christmas party to go to. I have a couple of Christmas parties to go to, um, in the coming weekend. So I probably won't be, um, pushing out, you know, nail videos on the weekends in the next couple of weeks, but I'll definitely do my best to, to, drop a couple um this coming week and then another um couple the following week so that I don't have to work on the weekends but um <clears throat> I might have to go find myself like something light blue like this I'm just loving it it like softens the winter look to have this light blue right um and could you imagine like a baby blue chiffon dress with some strappy um, uh, metallic silver um, heels with my nails on, with these nails on? Wouldn't that just be super duper cute? Yeah, DOG agrees. He thinks that we should. <laughs> That's what I should do. I should go out and get myself a cute little chiffon dress in light blue. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'd be able to pull that off. <laughs> I am trying to consider going blonde. I don't know if you guys know what I look like. Um, I should actually, I'm, I've been thinking of putting my um, picture on like the front intro of each video so that people know what I look like instead of just knowing what I sound like. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have dark hair. So um, I don't know if that would look great with baby blues. I don't know. I think a blonde would look stunning, just striking in this very soft blue and metallic. But I don't know. Maybe you have really dark hair and you go for the metallics also. Oh, this is where I decided to add little dots on the inside of the snowflake. And I think it just rounded it out perfectly and I'm not finished with the snowflake at the very end I'm going to add something to it and you get to tell me whether you like it or not oh my gosh I love the way that nail came out okay <clears throat> this one is the thumbnail the thumbnail all I'm going to do really is make that blue pop out remember I told you at the end and tell me if you agree with me um, towards the end of this, what I was thinking was that it really, really looked like um, I had painted the blue on top of the silver metallic, right? Um, and when I outlined it in white like this, it really did define it like that. So um, loving, loving my polka dots. Oh my gosh, I do. I really do love polka dots. Are you a polka dot person? Do you like polka dots too? Um, I am one of those people like when I go shopping, say I'm shopping for a new blouse or a new sweater or something like that. Um, if there is even one polka dot in the shop, I will gravitate towards it. Like that is the one thing that my eye sees all the time is polka dots. I just love them. I don't know what that is, but yeah. So if I could make polka dot nails um, in every single Actually, maybe I should. Maybe that should be like my signature where I put a polka dot nail in every single set that I make. <laughs> no, I won't do that, but I could. I promise you I could. That's how addicted I am to polka dots. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, so do you see what I'm talking about? Like the definition of these dots makes it look like the blue is actually on top of the silver instead of vice versa. Do you see it? Comment below. I see it if you see it. Okay. Um, if you don't, then that's okay. But yeah, I am quite certain that you will see that it looks like the blue is polished on top of the silver now. 
Yeah. Optical illusions. Super cool, right? Okay, so now I'm going to just put a couple of polka dots. I could probably do this much quicker with a dotting tool. If you have a dotting tool, use it. Um, I tend to um, get distracted where I'm just like in the zone, I guess, and I'm always using the same exact liner and I use it for absolutely everything, but you don't have to. Dotting would be, I probably could have put 42 dots on the snail by the time I was doing this. So yeah, um, but I'm going to change these dots into something else because, you know, polka dots upon polka dots is probably a little too much polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, um, oh my goodness, do you know it is past midnight? I better get going, right? Okay, so I am going to, while I'm, while I'm, uh, filming this anyway, while I, um, was doing the polka dots, I was thinking I should add some little stars, and so I just did, like, the little, um, you know, outer kind of like the north star type of thing yeah instead of the whole snowflake I'm just making little stars and then um, I'm actually going to add something a little different also um, oh I added a third one right here that's right I forgot about the third one added that third one and then I I decided that um, just the three was not, it was enough for the stars, but I definitely needed more polka dots, right? More little snowfall um, happening around the stars. So I added a few more polka dots just to kind of um, mesh all of that in. I sure hope you're enjoying these videos. I absolutely love um, doing them for you. I feel like we're just hanging out. Um, maybe you're getting your nails done and we're just chatting. Um, and so, yeah, I added a few more polka dots and that is how that one turned out. And then I ended up going through and adding a little bit of that light blue to the darker blue nails just subtly. Like I just put the light blue in the center of each of these snowflakes and this will tie the light blue nail into all of the other nails. And then, of course, I use the light blue and I put it on to this one as well. I just added light blue polka dots here and there. Um, I don't think I made, made them all. Yeah, see, some of them are still white. Some of them are light blue. Oh, oh, did I? Oh, I turned them all. I turned them all light blue. I was like, nope. I like the light blue dots uh, <clears throat> in that way. It really did tie in all of the nails into that light blue one. Oh my gosh, I just had another coughing attack. <laughs> if I can get through this, I'm telling you. But yeah, so I added a little light blue and you'll see why. And then I added dark blue to this. And I'm not sure if you're going to love this, but you'll see. If you don't, you can always just not do that. You can just put like a little rhinestone in the center or you can keep it just white. But see, I added the dark blue and now you'll see why. Um, I top coated all of them. Um, I ended up putting a shiny top coat on all of them. I didn't use matte at all. But do you see how now the dark blue ties into the light blue and each nail has a little bit of everything? This is how they turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching me do them and I hope you enjoyed chatting with me a little bit um, or that I talked your ear off. <laughs> Please like this video, um, comment below, let me know if you want to see more videos um, and definitely subscribe and hit that um, bell button so that you get notified when I put out more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.